Okay, a deep humility um, in connection with uh, enlightenment. Well, you know, humility is on very many levels. I mean, the last level of humility is, of course, um, the humility that there is no you in opposition or in separation to that which is. Uh, so that that's I'm talking about humility at the level of the enlightenment. You could say the arrogance of being a, in separation and wanting to be in separation from oneness, isness, enlightenment um, is, if you like, the, uh, the the ego's wish was for separation, and this uh, spun the ego out into a dualistic world of this and that. So the last humility is to disappear the idea that there is a me that is separate from everything, from the infinite, from the eternal, and to no longer wish to be in separation from 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 the source. You know, um, but the source is infinite, eternal, and undying and everlasting. What is it that is in me that is choosing to be separate from that? And is that is that humility to want to be in separation to that, or to want to let go of uh, to let go of the me self? I mean, not just a, a me letting go of stuff, but to let go of the idea that there is actually a me in separation to anything, or to the source, or to the divine. So, in the letting go of of me, that that for me is the last. Uh, the last thing. So um, I'll share. Um, um, yeah, there's kind of, well, I'm, I'm going into other questions, uh, which I'll share about later. But it's um, so that's the final humility. Is like okay. So how how do you how is that practical? Well, you know, it's more like there is no me. You see, uh, that that would be the way out of. I mean, you know, there isn't a me, and the me never existed, and and. There's nothing here that wants to continue to exist as a separate, as a as a as a separate uh, as a separate maybe should I say entity? In uh, so so then uh, that then brings up um, uh, I'll share that from my experience. You know, um, recalling the white light spiritual experience, infinite light and love, where nothing else can exist. Then it would mean then there should be nothing that's holding on to uh, the experience, uh, to that which wants to exist. You know, the idea that there's a me that is going to enjoy life and enjoy the peace and the infinite, to let that thing go. I don't know if that makes sense. But, uh, you know, um, so it's more like the the ceasing of the small self. Uh, and that, for me, is the final humility, which is, um, I'll, I'll share in a different video, which brings the the final doorway uh, knocking. Okay, so I'll uh, stop there.